Good evening. I am Vaughn Ray, Curriculum Director at Salina City Schools. Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the 2024 Salina City Spelling Bee. Tonight we host the top four spellers, or I'm sorry, the top spellers from four different schools in Salina. Salina Elementary, Salina Intermediate, Salina Middle, and Salina Immaculate Conception. Congratulations to all of you for making it this far. It is truly quite an accomplishment. Tonight, our champion will move on to the Regional B in March. Also, our top three will participate in the Mercer County B, which will be held on February 26th at 6.30 at the Mercer County ESC. And that's something new that we're going to participate starting this year. Before we begin, I would like to make a few introductions. First, our judges from Salina Elementary, Tressie Sigmund. From Salina Intermediate, Jenna Cup. And from Salina Middle, Stephen X. And Immaculate Conception, Judy Hellworth. Also with us this evening is Mr. Corey Arns, Principal at Salina Elementary. He's in the back. Mrs. Jenna Hodge, Principal at Salina Intermediate. Mr. Andy Mikesell, middle school principal. And Mrs. Ms. Polly Mullenkamp, principal at IC. And making her eighth appearance as our pronouncer, Mrs. Cricket Dobmeyer. A few reminders before we begin. Please be sure to, please be sure to silence your cell phones to help minimize distractions to the spellers. Also, if you have little ones with you, please take them to the hallway using the exits at the back of the room if they become restless. Finally, we will take a break in the round with 10 students remaining. At that time, you may leave. If you have an emergency and need to leave, please do so at the end of a round. We will start, and this is for the spellers, we will start this evening with a practice round. Students, when you're asked to approach the microphone, state your name, grade, school, and parents' names. Got that? Name, grade, school, and parents' names. We'll help you along the way. You will be given a practice word to spell. Following this round, we will begin with the first full round. During the B, if you miss a word, the judges will ring the bell, and you are asked to carefully exit the stage and sit in the seats reserved in the front rows over by Mrs. Hodge. Good luck to all of you. We ask you to be a bulldog and to be our future. Let's turn it over to Mrs. Cricket Dobmeyer. All right. So at this time, we are going to begin our practice round, and we need to have our first speller come up to the microphone. I'll help you through what, you all, what all you need to say. OK, so we got first and last name, the grade you're in, the school you attend, and your parents' names. My name is Jordan Driggs, and I'm in sixth grade. I go to Immaculate Conception School, and my parents are Nicole Driggs and Matthew Driggs. Your practice word is WAG. WAG, W-A-G, WAG. My name is Jackson Fisher. I am in sixth grade and go to Salina Intermediate School. I'm accompanied by my parents, um, Sherry Fisher and Ben Amstutz. Your, your practice word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is find. It is a verb, meaning to come upon something by looking carefully. Find. Find. F-I-N-D. Find. 
I'm Sophie Gudorf in eighth grade, Slanton Middle School, and my parents are Dan and Katie Gudorf. Your practice word is later. Later. L A T E R. Later. My name is Owen Hawk. I'm in fifth grade. I go to Immaculate Conception School and my parents' names are Jason and Jamie Hawk. Feel free to adjust the microphone, friends, if it's not quite, there you go. That's better. All right, your practice word is bike. Bike, B-I-K-E, bike. My name is Micah Heindel. I, I'm in fifth grade, I go to not intermediate school. And I, my parents are Darren and Michelle Heindel. Your practice word is deal. Deal. D-E-A-L. Deal. My name is Will Lovett. I go to Salina Elementary School, and my parents are Mike and Kara Lovett. What grade are you in? Fourth. Your practice word is wake. Wake. W-A-K-E. Wake. My name is Jasmine Lee. I am in the sixth grade. I go to Solana Intermediate School. My parents are Nack and Makara Lee. Your practice word is vase. Vase. V-A-S-E. Vase. My name is Joel Murphy. I'm in grade five. I go to Salina Intermediate School, and my parents are Natasha Murphy and Jeremy Robinson. Your practice word has a homonym that could be confused with another word. Um, your word is tune. It is a noun, and it's a musical composition. Tune. Tune. T-U-N-E. Tune. My name is Charlie Mustard. Um, I am 10 years old. I am in grade five at Immaculate Conception School. My parents are P and Amber Mustard. Your practice word is grid. Grid, G-R-I-D, grid. My name is Braden Pierstar. I'm in the sixth grade at Immaculate Conception School. My, my parents are Tiffany Pierstorf and Jason Pierstorf. Your practice word is wow. W wow, W-O-W, -W, wow. My name is Abby Sanford. I go to Salina Middle School. I'm in seventh grade and my parents are Tom and Laura Sanford. Your practice word is SIPS. SIPS. S-I-P-S. -S, SIPS. My name is Hannah Sanford. I am in fourth grade. Um, I go to Salina Elementary, and my parents are Laura and Tom Sanford. Your practice word is HEAP. Heap, H-E-A-P, heap. My name is Miles Schlater. I'm in sixth grade. I go to Salina Intermediate, and my parents are Matt and Christine Schlater. Your practice word is nest. Nest, N-E-S-T, nest. My name is Willow Schwartz. I'm in fourth grade at Immaculate Concep Conception, and my parents' name are Kelly and John Schwartz. Your practice word has a homonym or could be confused with, a, with another word. The word is rude. It's an adjective, meaning offensive in manner or action, lacking courtesy or good manners. Rude. Rude. R-U-D-E. Rude. My name is 
is Carson Seifring. I'm in sixth grade at Salina Intermediate School, and my parents are Aaron and Jessica Seifring. Your practice word is ladder. Ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, ladder. I'm Kaylee Seifring, I'm in sixth grade. I go to Salina Intermediate School, and my parents are Aaron and Jessica Seifring. Your practice word is sky. Sky, S-K-Y, sky. My name is Bryce Ulenhake. I'm in seventh grade at Salina Middle School, and my parents are Jeremy and Dee Ulenhake. Your practice word is his. His, H-I-S, his. My name is Weston Wiseman, and I'm in fourth grade, and I go to Salina Elementary School. My parents are Jody and Andy Wiseman. Your practice word is hard. Hard, H-A-R-D, hard. Your name? My name is CJ Winning. What grade are you in? Fourth grade. And what school do you go to? Salina Elementary. And who are your parents? April and Josh Winning. Good. Hey, bud, stay up here. We got to do a practice word, okay? Your practice word um, could is has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is roads, meaning the parts of streets over which cars and other traffic move. Roads. Roads. R O A D S. Roads. My name is Kate Willis. I'm in grade six. I go to Immaculate Conception School. My parents are Heather and Dave Willis. Your practice word is this. This, T-H-I-S, this. That will conclude our practice round. And now, <coughs> judges, we're going to go to word number 101 and start round one. And spellers, at this point, when you approach the microphone, just say your first and last name, and then I will give you your word. Okay. Jordan Driggs. Broken. Broken. B-R-O-K-E-N. Broken. Jackson Fisher. Solve. Solve. S-O-L-V-E. Solve. Sophie Udorf. Barely. Can you say it again? Barely. Barely. B-A-R-E-L-Y. Barely. Owen Hawk. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is shall. It's a verb used to express what is inevitable or what seems likely to happen in the future. Shall. Shall. S-H-A-L-L. Shall. -L -L. Micah Heindel. Credit. Credit. C. R E D I T credit. We'll love it. Crown. <clears throat> crown. C R O W N. Crown. Jasmine Lee. Evening. Evening. E V E N I N G. Evening. Joel Murphy. Dazzle. Dazzle. D-A-Z-Z-L-E. Dazzle. Charlie Mustard. Plunger. Plunger. 
P L U N G E R plunger. Braden Piersdorf. Whisper. Whisper. W H I S P E R. Whisper. Abby Sanford. Fireworks. Fireworks. F I R E W O R K S. Fireworks. Hannah Stanford. Drooped. Drooped. D R O O P E D. Droop. Miles Schleider. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is edge. It's a noun, meaning the cutting side of the blade of an instrument. Edge. Edge. E D G E. Edge. Willa Schwartz. Gently. Gently. G E N T L Y. Gently. Carson Seifring. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is pour. It's a verb meaning to dispense from a container. Pour. Pour. P O U R. Pour. Kaylee Seifring. Shower. Shower. S H O W E R. Shower. Bryce Ulenhake. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is steel. It's a noun meaning a commercial iron that contains carbon in any amount up to about 1.7% steel. Steel. S-T-E-E-L. Steel. Weston Wiseman. Together. Together. T O G E T H E R. Together. CJ Wooding. Create. Create. C R E A. T E create Kate Willis Angry Angry A N G R Y Angry That's the end of round <laughs> one. Judges we're going to move forward to word one fifty one on page thirty three. So this is the beginning of round two. Jordan Driggs. Valley. Valley. V-A-L-L-E-Y. Valley. Jackson Fisher. Improve. Improve. I-M-P-R-O-V-E. Improve. Sophie Gudorf. Sudsy. Sudsy. S U D S Y. Sudsy. Owen Hawk. Oddity. Oddity. O D D I T Y. Oddity. Micah Heindel. Yesterday. Yesterday. 
Y E S T E R D A Y yesterday. Well, love it. Buckeye. Buckeye. B U C K E Y E. Buckeye. Jasmine Lee. Bronze. Bronze. B R O N Z E. Bronze. Joel Murphy. Antlers. Antlers. A N T L E R S. Antlers. Charlie Mustard. Silence. Silence. S I L E N C E. Silence. Braden Pierstorf. Marble. Marble. M A R B L E. Marble. Abby Sanford. Night time. Night time. N I G H T T I M E. Night time. Hannah Sanford. Popovers. Popovers. P O P O V E R S. Popovers. Miles Schlater. Ailment. Ailment. A L E M E N T. Ailment. The correct spelling is A I L M E N T. Willow Schwartz. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is putty. It's a noun meaning a cement with the consistency of dough used in fastening glass in sashes and stopping crevices in woodwork. Putty. Putty. P-U-D-D-Y. Putty. The correct spelling is P-U-T-T-Y. Carson Seifert. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is cereal. It's a noun meaning a prepared food of grain, such as oatmeal or cornflakes, eaten especially for breakfast. Cereal. Cereal. C-E-R-E-A-L. Cereal. Kaylee Seifert. Insult. Insult. I N S U L T. Insult. Where's you on, Hake? Gallon. Gallon. G A L L O N. Gallon. Weston Wiseman. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is roughly. It is an adverb meaning with harshness or violence, severely, roughly. Roughly. R O U G H L Y. Roughly. <coughs> CJ Wedding. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is practice. It's a verb meaning to perform an act often in order to acquire proficiency or skill. Practice. Practice. P R A C T I C E. Practice.
Kate Willis. Fury. Could you say it in a sentence? Yes. Giorgio sometimes expresses his fury by punching a pillow, which is much better than punching other things. Fury. Fury. F-U-R-Y. Fury. <coughs> that is the end of round two. We are going on to round three. Jordan Driggs. Howdy. Howdy. H O W D Y. Howdy. Jackson Fisher. Expressway. Expressway. E X P R E S S W A Y. Expressway. Sophie Gudorf. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is razor. It's a noun. A sharp, fine-edged cutting instrument for shaving hair. Razor. Razor. R-A-Z-O-R. -R. Razor. Owen Hawk. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is hungrily. It is an adverb, meaning in a manner marked by strong desire or craving, longingly. Hungrily. Hungrily. H-U-N-G-E-R-L-Y. Hungrily. The correct spelling is H-U-N-G-R-I-L-Y. Micah Heindel. Outfits. Outfits. O-U-T-F-I-T-S. Outfits. We'll love it. Transform. Transform. T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M. Transform. Jasmine Lee. Amused. Amused. A-M-U-S-E-D. Amused. Joel Murphy. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is dessert. It is a noun, a course of fruit, pastry, pudding, ice cream, or cheese served at the end of a meal. Dessert. Dessert. D E. S S E R T dessert. Charlie Mustard. Thousand. Thousand. T H O U S A N D. Thousand. Brandon Piersdorf. Cress. Can you please repeat the word? Cress. Can you put the word in a sentence? Sure. The egg and cress sandwich is a classic British snack. Cress. Part of speech? Noun. Cress. C R E S S. Cress. Abby Sanford. Combat. Combat. C O M B A T. Combat. <coughs> Hannah Sanford. Pantry. Pantry. P A N T R Y. Pantry. Carson Seifring. Internet. Internet. I N T E R N E T. Internet.
Kaylee Seifert. Pouch. Pouch. P O U C H. Pouch. Bryce Ulan Haig. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is bestie. It's a noun meaning a person's greatest friend, bestie. Bestie, B-E-S-T-I-E, -E, bestie. Weston Wiseman. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is sewing. It is a verb meaning uniting, attaching, or fastening by stitches made with a flexible thread or filament. Sewing. Sewing. S-E-W-I-N-G. Sewing. <clears throat> CJ Wedding. Ignore. Ignore. I G N O R E. Ignore. Kate Willis. Gather. Gather. G A T H E R. Gather. Okay, that ends round three, and we will, uh, judges will go to word number 201 on page 41 to begin round four. Jordan Driggs. <coughs> Wheezy. Wheezy. W-H-E-E-Z-Y. Wheezy. Jackson Fisher. Vision. Vision. V I S I O N. Vision. Sophie Gudorf. Gloaming. Gloaming. G L O A M I N G. Gloaming. Micah Heindel. Disdain. Disdain. D-I-S-D-A-I-N. Disdain. We'll love it. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is engulf. It is a verb meaning to flow over and enclose, to overwhelm. Engulf. Engulf. E N G U L F. Engulf. Jasmine Lee. Termite. Termite. T E R M I T E. Termite. Joe Murphy. Graduate. Graduate. G. R A D U A T E graduate. Charlie Mustard. Furniture. Furniture. F U R N I T U R E furniture. Brian Pierstorf. In excuse me, invisible. Can you please say it in a sentence? Sure. Bilbo slipped the ring onto his finger and became instantly invisible. Invisible. I N V I S A B L E. Invisible. The correct spelling is I-N-V-I-S-I-B-L-E. Abby Sanford. 
Manual. Manual. M A N U A L. Manual. Hannah Sanford. Inscription. Inscription. I N S C R I P T I O N. Inscription. Carson Seifert. Composition. Composition. C O M P O. S I T I O N composition. Kaylee Seifring. Completely. Completely. C O M P L E T E L Y. Completely. Bryce, you want Hake? Afrobeat. Could you give me the definition? Sure. Urban popular music originating in Nigeria in the late 1960s that emphasizes percussion rhythms and features elements of jazz and funk. Afrobeat. Afrobeat. A F R O B E. A T Afrobeat. Weston Wiseman. Fascinated. Fascinated. Can you use the word in a sentence? Sure. The magician's tricks fascinated Eddie, especially the one with the bunny and the hat. Fascinated. Fascinated. F A S I N A T E D. Fascinated. The correct spelling is F A S C I N A T E D. CJ Winning. Poisonous. Poisonous. P O I S O N I O U S poisonous. The correct spelling is P O I S O N O U S. Kate Willis. Forearms. Forearms. F O R E A R M S. Forearms. That's the end of round four, and we shall begin round five. Jordan Driggs. Inventory. Inventory, I N V E N T O R Y. Inventory. Jackson Fisher. Recital. Recital. R E C I T A L. Recital. Sophie Gudorf. Gratitude. Gratitude. G R A T I T U D E. Gratitude. Micah Heindel. Intertwine. Intertwine. I N T E R. T W I N E intertwine. 
We'll love it. Drawers. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Sure. Milo checked all three drawers of his dresser, but couldn't find his favorite shirt. Drawers. D-R-O-O-R-S. The correct spelling is D-R-A-W-E-R-S. Jasmine Lee. Crookedly. Crookedly. C R O O K E D L Y. Crookedly. Joel Murphy. Fiddlehead. Can you use that in a sentence? Sure. Iris steamed each fresh fiddlehead in a steam basket for precisely 12 minutes before gobbling up the whole lot. Fiddlehead. Fiddlehead. F-I-D-D-L-E-H-E-A-D. Fiddlehead. Charlie Mustard. Ambush. Ambush. A M B U. S H ambush. Abby Sanford. Squire. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. During a lull in the battle, each knight's squire came forward with food, water, and replacement weapons. Squire. Squire. S Q. U I R E Squire <clears throat> Hannah Sanford Precious Precious P R E C I O U S Precious Carson Seifring. Occupy. Occupy. O C C U P Y. Occupy. Kaylee Seifring. Devotion. Devotion. D E V O T I O N. Devotion. Bryce Yolen Hake. Fragrant. Fragrant. F A R G R A N T. Fragrant. The correct spelling is F R A G R A N T. Kate Willis. Saucer. Saucer. S A U C E R. Saucer. This is the end of round five, and we will begin round six. Jordan Driggs. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is confident. It's an adjective, meaning characterized by a strong, bold belief in oneself and by freedom from fear, doubt, and worry. Confident. Confident. C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-T. Confident. Jackson Fisher. Submerged. Submerged. S-U-B-M-E-R-G-E-D. Submerged.
Sophie Gudorf. Replace. Replace. R E P L A C E. Replace. Micah Heindel. Diamond. Diamond. D I A M O N D. Diamond. <coughs> Jasmine Lee. Responsible. Responsible. R E S P O N S I B L E. Responsible. Joel Murphy. Hobbit. Hobbit. H O B B I T. Hobbit. Charlie Mustard. <clears throat> This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is insulation. It's a noun, meaning a material that slows the passage of heat, electricity, or sound. Insulation. Insulation. I N S U L A T I O N. Insulation. <clears throat> Abby Sanford Stitchery Stitchery S T I T C H E R Y Stitchery Hannah Sanford Wafting Wafting W A F T I N G Wafting <clears throat> Carson Seifring Deliberately Deliberately D E L I B E R A T E L Y Deliberately Ailey Seifring. Wisdom. Wisdom. W-I-S-D-O-M. Wisdom. <clears throat> Kate Willis. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is foul. It is a noun meaning a chicken, especially an adult hen. Foul. Foul. F O U L foul. The correct spelling is F O W L. End of six. And that is the end of round six. Judges, we are going to proceed to word number 251. <clears throat> Jordan Driggs. Inscrutable. Inscrutable. Can I have that in definition? The definition is not readily comprehensible, mysterious, inscrutable. <laughs> inscrutable. I N S C R U D I B L E. Inscrutable. The correct spelling is I-N-S-C-R-U-T-A-B-L-E. Jackson Fisher. Sacred. Sacred. S-A-C-R-E-D. Sacred. Sophie Gudorf. Mantle. Mantle. M. A N T E L Mantle Micah Heindel Quip Quip Q U I P Quip Jasmine Lee Salute Salute S A L U T E, salute. 
Joel Murphy. Terrify. Terrify. T E R I I F Y. Terrify. Charlie Mustard. Syllables. Syllables. S Y B. L E S syllables. The correct spelling is S Y L L A B L E S. Abby Sanford. Bamboozled. Can you use <clears throat> it in a sentence, please? Sure. When the luxury watch he had bought stopped working after an hour, Mo suspected that the nice men on the street might have bamboozled him. Bamboozled. Bamboozled. B-A-M-B-O-O-Z-L-E-D. Bamboozled. Hannah Sanford. Delegation. Delegation. D -a Can I start over? Mm -hmm. D E L E G A T I O N. Delegation. Carson Seifring. Replica. Replica. R E P L I C A. Replica. <clears throat> Kaylee Seifring. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is voracious. It's an adjective meaning excessively eager, avid, or insatiable. Voracious. Voracious. V O R A C I O U S. Voracious. Okay. Friends, that is the end of round seven, and we are going to take a short break. Spellers, if you want to get up and stretch and just take a couple deep breaths, that would be a great idea. Um, let's, let's do about a five minute break.
We'll go ahead here and start up and remember that our grand champion moves on to regionals, and that's in March. And then our top three spellers tonight move on to the County B. So make sure you understand that. So our top three move on to Mercer County B. So that's a great achievement for, for both of us. Okay, we are going to begin round eight. Come on up, Jackson. Jackson Fisher. Amphitheater. Amphitheater. Could you please, could you please repeat that word? Amphitheater. Amphitheater. A M. Oh, I messed up on this one. I'm sorry, man. Could you please give a definition? Sure. A circular or semicircular building with rising tiers of seats about a central open space. Amphitheater. Amphitheater. A M F I T H E A T E R. Amphitheater. The correct spelling is A M P H. I T H E A T E R. Sophie Gudorf. Thorax. Thorax. T H O R A X. Thorax. Micah Heindel. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is reference. It is a noun, meaning a book or a passage in a work to which a reader is directed. Reference. Reference. R-E-F-R-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Reference. The correct spelling is R-E-F-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E. Jasmine Lee. Sausage. Sausage. S-A-U-S-A-G-E. Sausage. <clears throat> Joel Murphy. Arabic. Could you please repeat that word? Arabic. And could you put it in a sentence? Sure. Arabic is traditionally written from right to left. Arabic. Arabic. A E R O B I C. Arabic. The correct spelling is A R A B I C. Abby Sanford. Disclaimer. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. The candy came with a disclaimer that the company would not take legal responsibility for injuries that resulted from putting a piece up one's nose. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. D-I-S-C-L-A-I-M-E-R. Disclaimer. Hannah Sanford. Incubator. Incubator. I N C U B A T O R. Incubator. <clears throat> Carson Seifring. Congregation. Congregation. C O N G R E. G A T I O N Congregation. Kaylee Seifring. Reindeer. Reindeer. R E I N D E E R. Reindeer. That's the end of round eight. We will begin <sighs> round nine.
Sophie Gudorf. Mischievous. Mischievous. M I S C H I E V O U S. Mischievous. <clears throat> Jasmine Lee. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is bunions. It is a plural noun meaning inflamed swellings of the small fluid filled sacs on the first joints of the big toes. Bunions. Bunions. B U N I O N S. Bunions. Abby Sanford. Superior. Superior. S U P E R. I O R superior. Hannah Sanford. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is verve. It's a noun meaning energy or vitality. Verve. Verve. V E R V E verve. <clears throat> Carson Seifring. Fluke. Fluke, F-L-U-K-E, fluke. Kaylee Seifring. Brooklyn. Brooklyn, B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N, Brooklyn. Okay, that's the end of round nine, and we're going to begin round 10. Judges, if you could please skip ahead to word 301. Sophie Gudorf. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is gorilla. It is a noun, meaning a large ape of the forest region of equatorial West Africa. Gorilla. Gorilla. G O R I L L A. Gorilla. Jasmine Lee. Sprocket. Sprocket, S-P-R-O-C-K-E-T, Sprocket. Abby Sanford. Nondescript. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. Miranda couldn't stand being in a nondescript room and had soon covered every wall with art and posters. Nondescript. Nondescript. N O N D E S C R I P T. Nondescript. <clears throat> Hannah Sanford. Malicious. Malicious. M a L I C I O U S. Malicious. Carson Seifring. Innards. Innards. I N N E R D S. Innards. The correct spelling is I N N A R D S. Kaylee Seifring. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is demure. It is an adjective meaning marked by quiet modesty or restraint, shy. Demure. Demure. D-I-M-U-R. Demure. The correct spelling is D-E-M-U-R-E. That's the end of round 10. We will begin round 11. Should I? Hold, hold off, Sophie, one second. Go ahead and have a seat. Um, I'm going to just kind of review end of B procedures. Um, we can, this can get a little confusing. So we have, at this point, four spellers left. And um, 
let's say we have our next round and all four of them would misspell the word, we would have all of them come back and begin a new round. So, um, and then once we get down to one speller, then that speller would need to complete another round by themselves or in effect spell an additional word correctly in order to be declared the champion. So we'll kind of, um, I don't know, we'll guide ourselves through this <laughs> as we go from this point on. So let's give a round of applause for our four remaining scholars. Yes, we're ready now. <laughs> Sophie Gudorf. Pervading. Pervading. P E R V A D I N G pervading <clears throat> Jasmine Lee insufferable insufferable I N S U F F E R A B L E insufferable Abby Sanford dynasty Dynasty, D Y N A S T Y, Dynasty. Hannah Sanford. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is pews. It's a plural noun meaning benches with backs fixed in rows in a church. Pews. Pews. P E W S Pews. That's the end of round 11. We will begin round 12. Sophie Gudorf. Petticoat. Petticoat. P E T T I C O A T. Petticoat. Jasmine Lee. Incarnated. Incarnated. I N C A R N A T E D. Incarnated. Abby Sanford. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is incited. It is a verb meaning moved to a course of action, stirred up, incited. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. Mira was unhappy with her math teacher's attendance policy, so she incited a class-wide protest. Incited. Incited. I-N-C-I-T-E-D. Incited. <clears throat> Hannah Sanford. Extravagant. Extravagant, E X T R A V A G A N T. Extravagant. That's the end of round twelve. We will begin round thirteen. Sophie Gudorf, societal, societal, S O. C I E T A L societal Jasmine Lee Steeds Can you repeat that? Steeds Can you use that in a sentence? Sure. The band of cowboys dismounted from their steeds so they could enter the general store. Steeds Steeds, S-T-E-A-D-S, -E Steeds. The correct spelling is S-T-E-E-D-S. -E -E Abby Stanford. Dilute. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Sure. The chef decided to dilute the salty sauce with a little water. Dilute. Dilute. 
D E L U T E. Dilute. The correct spelling is D I L U T E. Hannah Sanford. Destitution. Destitution. D E S T I T U T I O N. Destitution. We're pausing just for a moment here. Okay. Okay, we will now begin round 14. Sophie Gudorf. Tripe. Tripe. T R I P E. Tripe. Hannah Sanford. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is contagion. It is a noun, meaning the process by which disease is transmitted from one person to another by direct or indirect means. Contagion. Contagion. C-O-N-T-A-G-I-O-N. Contagion. And now we'll move on to round 15. Sophie Gudorf. Slakes. Slakes. S-L-A-K-E-S. -E Slakes. Hannah Sanford. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is recede. It is a verb meaning to move back or away, to withdraw, recede. Recede, R-E-C-E-D-E, -E -E. recede. All right, round 16. Sophie Gudorf. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is walk, it is a noun meaning a large bowl-shaped cooking utensil used especially in stir-frying. Walk. W-O-K. Walk. So if you want to say another one, it's not walk as well. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Hannah Sanford. Expulsion. Expulsion. E-X-P-U-L-S-I-O-N. Expulsion. This will be round 17. Sophie Gudorf. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. The word is incense. It is a noun meaning the perfume or the smoke emitted from spices and gums when burned. Incense. Can you use it in a sentence? Incense filled the chapel with a sweet fragrance. Incense. Incense. I N S E N S E. Incense. The correct spelling is I N C E N S E. Hannah Sanford. Magistrates. Magistrates. M A G I S T R A T E S. Magistrates. Okay, Hannah, you need to come back up and we need you to spell another word correctly. This will be round 18. Uncanny. Uncanny. U N C A N N Y, uncanny.
So our runner-up in the 2024 Salina City Spelling Bee, Sophie Goodorf. And our champion for the 2024 Salina City Spelling Bee, Hannah Sanford. Okay. And then is Abby still here? Abby, can you come up here real quick? So Hannah's going to move on, and she's going to be our regional. Uh, contestant in the Spelling Bee, which is a fantastic achievement. And in all three of these ladies, Abby Sanford, Sophie Gudorf, Hannah Sanford will represent us at the Mercer County Bee on February 26th. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you.